What's my ninjas? It's D, and we're back with a new tutorial. I went back through the past year and saw all the comments left on all my tutorials, and I'm so sorry I turned off notifications, so I have not been responding till yesterday, honestly. And I noticed that a really popular video that kept getting comments was actually my very first tutorial on how to add your friends PNGs and a lot of people don't read the description because it says that it's old. This thing is so old and there is an updated link which is this one and since I made this tutorial there is now an update to Fuji Tech, of course, right? Like that's just how technology works guys. So that's what this tutorial is. So please stop commenting on the first tutorial that's like three years old. I cannot help you guys if you don't read the descriptions. Okay, okay, we're going. Okay, so the first thing you guys are gonna do is go to reactive.fuji.tech, link below. Log on to your Discord. Authorize it. And you will see the new version of Fuji Tech. I'm not going to mess with the things on the right side. My bounce effect and cross effect is highlighted. You'll see what that means in a second. My dim own speaking image, other speaking image is always on. There you go. Now, there's two things that are very important. The first one is, of course, this. They have a new feature where you can add eight different models. So this is my Discord basic one. I added my 2D art images and I my 2D VTuber images. These are PNG images. It's very simple to do. You click on it, you hit file chosen, go ahead and find your file, open it up, have it for your speaking and have it for your inactive. You want two different images, right? Hit save. Now it's connected. The most important thing that everyone kept asking me was how do I get my friends link? Your friends have to make their own Fuji Tech link. They have to connect their Discord to the site. They have to find this thing right here, hit copy and give it to you to add to your OBS. Same way as you have to give them your link if you want to appear on their stream, okay? That is the most frequent freaking question I kept getting. So you have your link, you see it says group, don't even, don't worry about it. I never had a success with this. I don't care about it. This is the only one I care about. I'm going to go ahead and hit copy my own link to show you guys how this works. Now I'm going to go to stream OBS. Ta-da. You're going to hit add browser. You can see that I have avatars already added for my friends. I'm going to add me. Hit OK. You're going to paste your URL that you just copied into here, hit OK. And now that it's copied, it's trying to read my Discord that I don't even have open yet. So let me go do that. So my Discord is open and I'm joining a voice channel. It does not matter what voice channel I join, as long as I'm in a voice channel. It's going to take a hot second. And there it is. It took less than a minute, but it did take a while. You just have to let it go, whatever. It's my first time connecting it. It should be faster next time. But here's my PNG. And like anything in OBS, you can increase the size. You can make it obnoxious as possible. There it is. Obviously your PNG, the better quality it is, the better it looks on your screen when you enlarge it. So that's the tutorial. I hope this was helpful. It should be helpful. And if for some reason it's not, feel free to comment below and I'll further explain any questions you might have. If for whatever reason it does not connect to your Discord, your Discord is not working, open the Discord browser. I'm using the app and it works fine, but if it doesn't for you, use the Discord browser. It says on reactive images that apparently the browser works better, whatever that means. So if that doesn't work for you, then there is something wrong with your Discord connection. Maybe you're on like child mode and it won't let you authorize to a third party site. I don't know. I will not be able to understand why Discord won't let you connect to a third party site. That is above my head. I'm sorry. 
to everyone else, this should have worked. And again, let me know in the comments. If not, um, feel free to comment below if there's another tutorial you would like me to make. I'm just going through all the comment section and seeing what was the most questionable thing that people asked. And this was the top, as you can tell by my frustration. I'm sorry. I think this is why I took a break, but here I am again. So see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.